If you are interested in the M54 motor, you are in the right spot. We'll get to it right after this. Alright, so the N54. is a motor that BMW developed. It is a three liter inline six twin turbo. It was the first mass produced turbocharged engine that BMW has made. So that being, they made everything really strong. It has an aluminum block, aluminum head, and forged internals. They were made from 2006 to 2016. It came stock with 300 horsepower. I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but just hang on with me and we'll get to the reason why it's such a good motor to have. It was fine in the 335i, 135i, 535i, Z4, X6, a couple different other cars too. So the reasons why you should buy an N54 powered vehicle is kind of compared to the 2JZ. The no, the infamous 2JZ in a freaking Supra. That car. Just like the 2JZ, it is a 3 liter inline 6 Forge internals. Both were twin turbo. Very capable engines, in my opinion. I think the N54 is more capable than the 2JZ in stock form. I know everyone's gonna be mad at me about it, but. I'm kind of right. The M54 motor can actually safely um, run around 700 wheel horsepower safely. I've seen people get up near the 900 mark with stock internals, and but you also have a single turbo. Um, speaking of that, the N54 has a very broad uh, aftermarket scene with it. Another reason why you would also want an N54 powered vehicle, you can find 335 i's 535 i's for relatively like under $6,000 I would say. You can also buy the N54 powered vehicles in rear wheel drive as well as all wheel drive. Since they're equipped with twin turbos there's very little throttle lag and also with the twin turbo setup that is on the car stock I've seen people get around 500 wheel horsepower not really too sure on how long that lasted but I've seen it done. Turbos are known to blow, but yeah. Now we are getting into why not to buy a N54 powered vehicle, even though there's so many great reasons to buy one. They're kind of unreliable, and a lot of people say that, but I don't really believe that. I mean, it's kind of an older motor, kind of has, you know, your normal problems with it, but we'll get right into that. Basically what's unreliable about the N54 is everything around it. No, that's what people say, but I, I've had my car, I had my N54 for over a year and I haven't had too many problems with it. But one thing that seems to go is spark plugs and coil packs. The more you tune your car and more power you throw out the N54, those will be replaced almost immediately. Another thing that's also bad with the uh, N54 that a lot of people have to replace, the water pump because it's electrical and it had a bunch of problems with it and it needed replaced. So every, it needed replaced every once in a while. The next thing on my list is the high pressure fuel pump that also goes out as well. I know that BMW got in some type of weird thing about how bad their high pressure fuel pump was. But um, yeah, that needs replaced. It can't really support anything above 600 horsepower unless you have port injection with it and then you can kind of go above and beyond with E85 and other stuff. Next is the turbos. The turbos and the wastegate rattle. A lot of uh, N54s around that 100,000 mile range, the, um, the turbos start to rattle, the wastegate start to rattle on the turbos, and the turbos sometimes blow once you start pushing a good amount of boost out of it. Another thing is the injectors. Injectors seem to go out. Um, a lot of people upgrade to the Index 12 injectors that just came out a little bit later. Just, you know, normal BMW stuff, electrical problems. Pretty much 
sums up the N54, but I do really recommend it. Don't let those few unreliable things really scare you. With that being said, uh, just please give this video a thumbs up and a, please subscribe because it really helps out me personally. I really get excited every time I get a subscriber. I would really like to make it to 200 subs by the end of this month. It's November right now, so if you would please share this video, like it, and subscribe, it would mean so much to me. If you like this kind of video, just let me know in the comments below. And if you have any questions about regarding the N54 motor, uh, just let me know and any other motors that you'd like to know about our cars.